Hi, here's Pawel from Nature Manufacture. Today I will showcase how to change look of our modular castle and dungeon asset pack using Unity's Muse Texture Generator. Let's start by adding a Muse Texture Generator package. We have to open Package Manager, click plus in the top left corner and choose Add Package by Name. Now let's wait for Unity to install the package. After package installation, we have to create a new texture generator. Now let's create a new look. First, we'll add negative prompts to get better generation results. For the wall, we want to achieve a sandstone look. We add positive prompt and start generation. After generation has finished, we can see previews of all the results. Hmm, let's go with this one. And from this texture, let's generate it as PBR material. Now we can drag and drop it into one of the folders. After we receive base material with several textures, albedo, ambient occlusion, height, metallic, normal map. Draw, color, and smoothness. Base Muse material can be used out of the box with just drag and drop. It uses a simplified shader, which we can adjust to our liking. It has metallic smoothness and height intensity. You can also change the tiling to better accommodate the size of the texture. But Muse material is not the only option to use generated texture. We can take the textures and create from them mass texture. To do it, we can use graphic programs like Photoshop or create custom editor inside Unity, like I did with creating this texture combiner tool. Mass texture combines metallic, ambient occlusion, detail mask and smoothness into respective RGBA channels. With it, we can change Muse shader to HDRP lit shader. Let's use albedo as the base map and created mask. Now we just have to remap the values to better suit our needs. As this is non-metallic texture, we should set metallic to zero. Make it less smooth and a little brighter by setting higher ambient occlusion. The mask texture can be used in HDRP, ERP or standard shaders. But the last option for the, the textures is to use them with a custom shader. We will use our top cover shape shader and use Muse generated textures as base look. The same way we did with HDRP shader, we remap the textures map values. Metallic, ambient occlusion, smoothness and normal scale. Now, as we have our new Look for the walls, let's quickly change the rest of the castle. And finally, here is the castle with the new sandstone look.